Hi Amy, here is the latest model um, on the screen grabs which I'll put on Flickr. I've labelled the bays A, B, C, D, E, that little one there, and F, but that's all made very clear elsewhere. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got. Um, we didn't discuss this when we met, but um, because there are some electronics, electrics here that um, I need to avoid, um, it just seemed to work out making a little 300 deep um, shelf assembly in that corner. Uh, wire shelves here. I'm just going to quickly jump into a 2D, uh, sorry, a section view. I think that's going to be easier to look at. Yes, that is easier. So, typically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, shelves high. Um, I haven't put any price on this, but yeah, it's fine detail when we get down to working out whether we do want to do any kind of skeleton. Um, let's just flip that around and look at the other side. Now I've put the various, you know, nibs and features and electrics into the model. Um, you know, there there is a little bit less to sort of go at. Um, now this is interesting. Um, on the board shelves, I remembered the last one of these I did um, a huge display of art books for somebody a month or so, a couple of months ago, um, because he wasn't quite decided which books he wanted where, we left the shelves unfixed. They weren't sort of screwed in, screwed in from the underneath. So, you know, they're not shown, but there's screw holes there and there, which go up into the underside of the board. And it occurred to me, you know, given what you're doing with this space, um, we could have the shelves fitted fairly tightly between there and there. And as long as you understood that they weren't fixed, there, there's no reason why you would have to screw those shelves on. So if you did want to sort of move them around and jiggle things about a bit, you could do that. So, you know, I can't really see a downside to doing that as long as everyone understood that was the strategy. And you could apply that to all of the other shelves. Again, as long as we all understood what we were doing and, you know, I wasn't uh, leaving you with something unfinished. Uh, this is bay D, bay B, bay E, and bay F is the one with the baskets. Now on the 2D drawing I've made a note for you to, could you please check the distance from the edge of that galvanised um, cable cover to that wall there. I've got it as 13.48. I suspect it's something different. I need to know what that is. And also, can you tell me what the highest point of these electrical features are? So from that face, the highest face to that wall, I've got it as 50, but that's just nominal. Um, the reason for asking for those two dimensions a bit more precisely is I need, I need to know whether we can fit two columns of 600 wide baskets in here or whether we should have one column of 600 and one column of 450 wide. I suspect we'll be okay with two columns of 600 as I've shown here but I just want to check that. Those two dimensions I need are marked on the 2D drawing. Okay each of these bays will be priced up individually or these, these sets, these assemblies and I'll get that over to you this evening.